Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics. Welcome on in for a quick early afternoon video. Um, as you can see by the title, uh, First Majestic Silver getting short squeezed today. Interesting situation, and I'm going to pull up the chart here. But looks as if First Majestic Silver could be getting short squeezed a little bit. Um, as you can see, on the silver price, certainly quite a volatile chart today. And it's interesting, was studying the option board last night. So we'll come back to that. But what I found fascinating is that a couple hours into the trading session, I look and I see First Majestic, which we'll pull a second chart up here. First Majestic's up about 80 cents. Well, everything else, uh, silver was down. All of the mining stocks were down, which... Now, First Majestic has come quite back in a bit, but here you see at 10.47 a.m. Uh, up at 14.90, then over uh, 14.80 again, 14.84. So it came back in, uh, sold off quite a bit, but let's take a look here. Can see the blue line, that's the price of First Majestic. Here's where it's up 80 cents. And in the uh, other lines, the teal is SLV. So you can see that was down. The brown line is SIL, Silver Miners Index. That was down even more. And you can see mag silver in the green line on the bottom. So <clears throat> that was a pretty consistent pattern, I would say, S SIL. Maybe it's not perfect indication of all silver stocks, but measuring pretty much what you saw there. And my first thought was to call First Majestic as I was looking around to see if there was any news out. I didn't find anything. So I called First Majestic, talked with one of the investor relations people there. Um, he said there was no news out. There had been a large buyer round, but it what came to his mind, it looked like it could be a short squeeze. So to be clear, that is different than saying that it conclusively was a short squeeze, but that was what popped to their mind, uh, no particular news. Did call Dave Kranzler and he certainly thought it was a short squeeze. Um, so now what's interesting is that if you take a look here, is that we actually recorded a call about this last Thursday, I believe it was. Here's our round table, what's up with the short position on the first uh, on First Majestic Silver. So, Anyway, uh, I don't know if somebody was watching that and <laughs> decided to take action on it, but just was really interesting to see First Majestic up so much while the other miners were down. Again, uh, obviously there's imperfect information there, so I can share with you what I saw and the feedback that I got. And by all means, that's not legal licensed trading advice, so make of that what you will. Uh, and last note, before we wrap up, again, this is going to be a quick one, although stay tuned later tonight, part two of Andrew McGuire coming. And that's also where that gold and silver options expiration clip that I posted last night came from. And it's interesting, perhaps didn't get to do quite as much on this over the weekend as I might have liked, but here's the option board, if we can get that out of the way. And it was interesting because I was thinking about what Andrew said. I watched that a bunch of times. And then I looked at the option board. And certainly there are some interesting conclusions. I don't think going into it, it's completely blind. I won't say that I knew it precisely. But when I looked at what happened here, and especially I think I was looking at the option board, maybe right around here, and there are some clues that some of this would make sense which I will be doing another option call about. And for everybody who saw the last option call or is interested in digging into this more, we're finally organizing our option group consulting program. So you can find out more about that by clicking in the link below. We'll have more details out shortly, but some of the option things and creating an area where you can get your questions answered, um, but also creating a network of other people that you can discuss things with which I often find is a biggest part of any of these ventures. So a lot of good stuff on the way. So click in the link below to find out more about that. 
With that said, we're going to wrap up for today. But again, Andrew McGuire, part two coming up later. And the link to get more information about the options for metals and miners group program in the description field below. And I will see you soon.